This is Lloyd Blankfein, who has led the firm as both the chairman and CEO for seven years. Blankfein is showing no sign that he is considering handing over the reins to anybody else, despite his new goatee and more relaxed interviewing style of late, as you've noticed. He survived the financial crisis, allegations that the firm bet against its own clients, and he's now riding the wave of a rising stock price. Shares have gained nearly 27% so far this year, so he's sitting pretty. Well, that is Goldman Sachs' chief operating officer and friend of blank sign Gary Cohn, who has long been regarded as the heir apparent. The New York Times quotes Cohen's friends and colleagues as saying he is growing increasingly restless, dubbing him the Prince Charles of Wall Street. He's ready for the crown, but not quite. Some inside Goldman are wondering if he will depart if Blank finds does not get out of the office soon. But this morning, it seems that the real this versus that could be between the New York Times and Lloyd Blankfein. Goldman CEO dismissed the Times story at a breakfast event organized by Politico this morning. Our leadership team was by far, far, far the most stable leadership team. People stayed in place. Um, and that's, you know, a very big, important element of our culture and tradition. And I think, um, you know, you know this because you, you, you've been in a few places. In the business press, people are assigned to firms, to cover firms. And I think um, somebody who was assigned to Goldman Sachs didn't have anything to write for a while.